What's going on guys, this is Rob, and if you're enjoying the content here on my channel, then make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you hit subscribe so you can help decide what direction the content on my channel goes in, in the foreseeable future. What's going on, members of the Rob Corps? Welcome! Welcome to another thrilling edition of How to Kill Superheroes. We are a murderous bunch. <laughs> Today, I want you to come with me on a journey, a journey to the bottom of the sea. That's right, we're leaving the comfort of dry land and venturing into hostile territory to the underwater kingdom of Atlantis to kill its king, Arthur Curry, better known as Aquaman. Now, there was a time not very long ago when Aquaman was considered a laughing stock of the DC Universe, quickly dismissed as the guy who talks to fish. Admittedly, I even shared this view for a long time. But now, Aquaman is no longer the subject of mockery, but is in fact the best thing coming out of DC Rebirth. This is compounded by the fact that we got to see Jason Momoa as Aquaman riding the Batmobile. How awesome is that? I saw that scene in the trailer and I was just like, oh my god, that looks amazing. He's like, Aquaman's riding the Batmobile. Aquaman's a beast. Like, I feel like Aquaman's going to be the best character in the Justice League movie. But despite how awesome Jason Momoa may very well be as Aquaman, he's still got to die. So <laughs> let's get right down to figuring out how to kill Arthur Curry. So as always, we're going to start with a brief overview of the character and follow that up with a discussion of his powers so that we can see why the proposition of killing Aquaman presents us with such a challenge. Now, as we get around to our overview of the character, I want to point out that since the character of Aquaman has been around for a very long time, he's had multiple versions of his origin published throughout history, but we are going to be focusing on the current version of Aquaman, which is also the version that debuted in the new 52 Aquaman series in 2011. So this version of Aquaman is actually half human and half Atlantean, a subspecies of humans that have adapted to survive underwater, with his father being a man named Tom Curry, and his mother being an Atlantean named Atlanta. Now because of his Atlantean physiology, Aquaman develops powers and is later voted king of the underwater kingdom of Atlantis after its previous king died, leaving no heirs to the throne. In addition to serving as Atlantean royalty, Aquaman spends a lot of his time on the mainland United States, where he spent his childhood and where he also fights crime as a superhero and was a founding member of the Justice League. Now, as far as Aquaman's powers go, as I said earlier, they go far beyond talking to fish, which technically isn't even one of his powers. However, he can communicate with sea life telepathically and can summon animals from great distances to his location. However, it has been explained in the New 52 Aquaman comics that fish and other sea creatures are not intelligent enough to carry on an actual conversation. So Aquaman can basically just telepathically send signals to their brains and they just do whatever it is that he wants them to do. So he can control fish using telepathy, but he can't really talk to them. But even so, this isn't even Aquaman's most impressive ability. Not only does the fact that he's half Atlantean allow Aquaman to breathe underwater as well as survive the immense pressure of the deep, but it also allows him in heightened senses of vision, hearing, and smell. He also possesses superhuman strength that allows him to lift 150 times the normal human maximum, which is up to about 60 tons, and he's displayed his strength several times, lifting large ships and throwing them on more than one occasion. Now, in the DC Rebirth Aquaman series, we've even seen Arthur Curry go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman during a fight, and so even though Aquaman is not typically thought of as one of the strongest characters in DC Comics, his strength is not something we can afford to take lightly. Now, Aquaman's strength is complemented by superhuman speed, especially when he's moving underwater, as he's been able to swim faster than a high-speed jet flying through the air, as well as superhuman durability as he's taken punches from superpowered beings like Wonder Woman and even sustained gunfire from an automatic weapon without taking any damage whatsoever. He also possesses a regenerative healing factor, which he used when stabbed through the chest with a trident by the dead King Atlan and healed within minutes. Now, in addition to all of this, Aquaman is a master tactician and also highly advanced in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So the question comes, after all these feats and powers, how do we kill him? Well, our starting point is a weakness that we first learned about way back in 1959 in Adventure Comics number 256 when it was revealed that Aquaman would die if he didn't come into contact with water for more than an hour. Now, prior to this, Aquaman's stories basically had him able to stay out of water indefinitely. And while the stories following Adventure Comics number 256 meant that he had to come into contact with water once every hour, over the years, this has begun to go away. However, within recent comics, both the New 52 and DC Rebirth, we have 
have not seen anything that suggests that Aquaman can remain out of water indefinitely. So we're going to assume that we can still use this weakness to our advantage. With that in mind, what we're going to have to do is figure out a way to separate Aquaman from water for an extended period of time. Now that sounds easy enough, but we have to remember Aquaman isn't just going to let us do that. And it's going to be tough for us to force our will on someone with super strength, speed, and enhanced combat skills. And it's in that aspect that we find the key to Aquaman's demise. The trick is going to be taking away Aquaman's desire to get to the water. But how do we do this? Well, as usual, when we're looking to kill members of the Justice League, we need to look no further than Batman himself. That's right. In the Tower of Babel storyline, we find out that Batman has contingencies in place should he need to take out every member of the Justice League besides himself, because as Batman fans will tell you, Batman can do no wrong. Now, Batman's contingency for Aquaman was an altered form of Scarecrow's fear toxin that made Aquaman scared of water, which in turn would cause him to avoid it and in time would lead to his death. Of course, that all assumes that we encounter Arthur on dry land and we can keep him away from water. But I said in the intro that we're going to meet him on his turf, which is the ocean. And so that begs the question, is there any way to kill him there. Well, even though Aquaman is extremely strong, there are several characters in DC that are stronger. The trouble is, can any one of those characters survive long enough to beat Aquaman in a fight to the death inside the ocean? Well, the answer to this is yes. And we need to look no further than Superman to find an example. <laughs> I feel so terrible using Superman in this, but we don't have a choice. Superman can survive without food, water, or even air, and he's able to survive without oxygen in space. So we can surmise that he can survive without it underwater as well. But suppose we're not Superman. See, a lot of you guys thought I was gonna be like, oh man, Superman, and that's it. But suppose we're not Superman, and we don't have access to him or any of the other characters that could just pummel Aquaman to death. How are we gonna kill him if we have to fight him underwater? Well, the simple answer is to get him to leave. Once the toxin was used on Aquaman by Ra's al Ghul, who had discovered Batman's plans, his fear was able to be overcome by the telepathy of the Martian Manhunter. This suggests that Aquaman is susceptible to telepathic attacks, which presents us with another way to influence Arthur into avoiding water, which of course would lead to his death. So hopefully, we're able to ally ourselves with someone who can telepathically influence Aquaman to leave the ocean. That might seem like a bit of a cop-out, but hey, he's not the king of Atlantis for nothing. So killing him in the water is next to impossible so we simply just have to use every trick at our disposal honestly guys we kind of had to take this route we kind of had to take this route it's aquaman you can't beat him in his home turf you can't beat him in the ocean the dude is a beast not to mention he's got the physical prowess of jason momoa if you've ever seen that picture of jason momoa with his two bodyguards it's a really intimidating picture what are those bodyguards gonna do i don't even know why they're there like they're just there for decoration i have no idea anyway if you guys are new here to comments explain make sure you guys hit the sub button Button to become part of the Rob Corps. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. And yeah, I have no idea who we're going to kill in the next video. So as we always do every couple weeks or so, post a character down below. Let me know who you think we should kill. Should we kill like Venom? Like the Venom symbiote? Because I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think of people that we could kill. We've largely stuck with Marvel and DC. So maybe we should like kill Spawn or maybe we should kill like, like Bloodshot or somebody from, from Valiant Comics. I have no idea, but post a comment down below and we will figure out a way to... <laughs> to kill those characters. We're going to kill Chuck Norris. The next video, we're going to kill Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris in real life, I promise no harm will come to you, but we're going to see if it's possible to kill Chuck Norris. There we go. Anyway, we're going to bring this video to an end and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. Chris is in there. Chris is in there. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. They're, they're on the I really counter. hope there's no oh, dog poop on this trick. lawn. What? You guys like? Apples, but you guys can't use actual like wood burning fireplaces. But it does make sense because of the pollution and stuff. Yeah, look how much nicer and beautiful it is here. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh whoa. There's so much vape. Yeah, this is a strawberry soup. <laughs> Strawberry. That actually sounds like really good. It smells so good. Wait, do we still want to do the uh, editing style that I did for the test? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did your color correction and everything too? Hmm? Yeah. You really should. Uh, have you yeah. Ever yeah, I was gonna say I'm kind of direct. She's producing. You guys have all fallen into your roles. Like our team has come together, Rob. And then there's Dan.
<laughs> and then there's me. Dan does all the B-roll. Dan does the intern. Dan. Yep. Oh, man. B-roll oh. Dan. That's your new name, B-roll Dan. B-roll Dan. B-roll Dan. B-roll Dan. B-roll Dan. They call me B-roll Dan. B-roll Dan. I feel like that sounds like a World of Warcraft boss. That would be amazing. I'm B-roll Dan. The Warcraft raid is coming out. The, the final boss is B-roll Dan. <laughs> oh, finger in the face. <laughs> That's amazing. So good. Lord. Death bringer of all, Dan. <laughs> yep. If you believe you can achieve, then you gotta shoot for the moon. Don't let your dreams be dreams! Don't let your dreams be memes, guys. We're going all shadow fuck. Keys, keys are these. Keys are these. You can have keys with you. It does make it look realistic because okay. it kind of looks like you threw a pair. You can't really see that right now oh, anyway, but... You know, right. having shit in the background is not a... Yeah. Okay, cool. Unless, unless we can see those posters. Why not? Because he's looking at a clubhouse, oh, right? Oh, yeah, he's looking at it. Okay, ready? Yep. Kneel down. Wait, are you doing it, stupid? Oh. No point in me doing it. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. And that's what Batman would pull out a gun. What? Batman didn't use guns? Uh, no, 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 no. There's a precedent for this. So, originally in the 1940s, Batman did use guns to achieve his goals. You know, it was an older comic book, though, so we can say that that was ignored later when they decided to be more family friendly. But this has been used in more recent years. You see, in Arkham Knight, he had a Batmobile that had riot suppression bullets on it, and those bullets were used to shoot at people, but they were like beanbags and stuff like that. But even in more recent stuff, because we're talking about Batfleck, Batfleck used the Batman gun to shoot the parademons, and then when he was fighting the thugs, he went ahead and grabbed their guns, shooting other people, and that's how he shot the napalm. At least that's how I remember it. So what I'm telling you is, Batman can use guns as long as they're special ammo or somebody else has them. <laughs> so you're telling me that you're going to use firearms yeah. on an immortal firearm expert. Yeah. Good. You're so cute. Did you just slap me? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> that was amazing! That was amazing! Oh my god. Oh man. That was glorious! Glorious! Yes! Oh man. That was fun. That was excellent. Okay, so we got I can't believe we got that all in one go. Yeah, I can't believe it. Like you hit all things later. Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm just pulling my back. Yeah, right. Talk about being strippers. That's what I do. <laughs> you just get one of those like uh, little bra corsets. Yeah, Caitlin like, just, just grabbed her boots on camera. I just, I just take mine. Just drag me right I'm like, hey everybody, I'm live streaming. I'm playing Doom. Come check me out. Because I'm so sexy. Do you really want this on the hat? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I can molest other men. Oh, <laughs> oh my not gosh. Right, Benjamin. Being touched on the breast explains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, as long as I was checking essential. for breast cancer. Alright, how are we looking? <laughs> for breast cancer. Touched on my getting explained. Alright, we hold this.